everybody. Hi. Welcome back to another edition of All My Cast. This is the last one. The big one. Because we're in the end game now. <laughs> no more podcasts. Did you like how I did that? I mean, I don't think we should oh, tell them that we just won't podcast anymore. No, we're going to do more. But we're, we're here to talk about Avengers Endgame. We're a little late on it, primarily yeah. because... Well, there was a, a spoiler ban, so I guess there was, it's okay. There was a spoiler ban, and also... It's we, only been two weeks. We just, we, I mean, we had, they lifted it. Yeah, yeah. We had. I know. We just some of us had things going on. We, we lived uh, busy lives outside. Yeah. Of but this. talking about it, Avengers Endgame. Holy shit! Dude, it, it's like, that's a movie. The best movie ever made. Pinnacle of cinematography in my lifetime. Absolutely. It's it's an incredible. It's a good close mo- to like eleven years of work. It's a good movie. Twenty two films, and it's. The best way to live it's, up to hype. It's ever. like it's this huge art that is now just it's it's over. Yeah. And it honestly, it's kind of weird living in a post end game world. You know? Yeah. Not to mention is. that two days later we got the Battle of Winterfell. So yeah. it's like the it, that was a, first that was the most hype weekend. weekend for nerd culture. I, I that was one hell of a I, weekend. I, I, I man. didn't like. I I said it uh, all throughout just like April. Like, cause there was a lot of shit in April that I was really excited about. Like King of Cards was coming out before that shit got delayed. And then MK 11 <laughs> and Game of Thrones was back and Avengers Endgame. I was like, I don't know what the fuck to do. And what are you, you're still playing. So you're Mortal taking Kombat. all of my You know exactly what yeah, to do. Yeah. Uh, but but I, I feel you. Like whenever we yeah. left the theater, I was like, I feel both like my life is complete and sure. empty at the same yeah, time. Cause now. it's like, cause 2008, you had no idea what was going to happen. It was just like, ah, oh, dip. Iron like Man's got a movie. Just seeing the little cameos like at the end of Incredible Hulk when Tony yeah. walked in at the post yeah. credit scene. And it was like, it's like, oh man, they're all connected. That's so cool. It's like, I, 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 I was like, I saw that. I saw that movie. Like, what's happening here? And now it's, it's, it's such a cultural thing. Yeah. That it's just, it's permeated everything. Like, it, it made like $1.2 billion that weekend. It's, it's, just a fast, lot of it's the fastest movie to reach two billion. A lot of yeah. news agencies are saying it won't top Avatar, but I'd think that it's not totally I don't think out of. I'm pretty sure it's gonna. Here's a hot take. I feel like it will. Here's a hot take for you viewers at home. Fuck Avatar. <laughs> for real. <laughs> it was very impactful I for would its say time. Fuck Avatar. It was a decent movie. I, just, I can't tell you it's a not thing it, about it, Avatar. It the wasn't script, good enough to top Endgame. The but. script was very derivative, but the 3D effects were astronomical for the time. That's also, it. just real quick, James Cameron, uh, the like bravest on, pioneer, on, on Twitter. I don't know if this was recent or like during Infinity War or whatever it was, but he apparently tweeted out that like. Is anybody just like over Avengers yet? Like, how many? We got more stories to tell. Sorry. Meanwhile, this motherfucker has like five Avatar sequels in production or some shit. Newsflash. Oh, got canceled. Newsflash, uh, James Cameron. We were over Avatar by the time we finished our James cigarette Cameron, after Avatar. I'm pretty sure sent out like a really nice tweet. He did. He did. To, he did. Yeah. But like, he congratulated them but uh, the for same, overcoming at the, at the Titanic at, time, at least. At the same time, he's just like, like, there's other stories to tell when this guy's working on like six movies in one universe you know yeah because well, everyone's I mean, doing it if now. he's doing more avatar movies i'll probably watch them but i won't get ex- as excited of, as over endgame well, because <clears throat> so let's either way we're just, podcasting about endgame not yeah, james yeah. cameron so, so, talk about mcu in general so let's james like, cameron's not part of the mcu though. uh think, here's a here's a decent way to start the whole uh talking about the movie just um at the beginning favorite point of the movie uh, see, Captain Thor. Captain Thor. Captain Thor. Absolutely. Captain Thor was incredible. Captain Thor. Probably the best part of the movie. Was I both think- my favorite part of the movie and also my least favorite part because of the fuck offs in the theater next to me. Because they, they're like, have you ever been in a theater and yeah. it's a big movie that everyone's excited about and there's these fans, like, People love what's coming out, but they won't shut the fuck up throughout the entire movie. Like, yep. like everything, like, like every little thing that happens, they're just like, yeah, yeah. The woo. second and I was time like, I went to the movie, there were some talkers. But yeah. the first time, it was actually pretty good. And like the, the yeah. showing we went to was, but like it, it was the, very the, the first showing I went to, it was like it was that Saturday after it came out, and everyone was hype and fair, fair play. You're excited about it, but shut up. <laughs> Like, like we we up. had that uh, when we went and saw Captain Marvel like directly yeah. behind us, yeah. where some people just wouldn't yeah. stop talking. And yeah, you do it, girl. Yeah, but, but that that scene when the hammer comes back to him, uh, that was the first time in a, a theater where I've had like a physical yeah. reaction because that jumped. I was like, yes. There was um, 
Which, which, I, I've been waiting for that for since Age of Ultron. And that brings that was going to bring me what I uh, was going to say. Uh, Cap was faking in Age of Ultron. Yeah, that's that's what the <laughs> Russo brothers they yeah. said that uh, they believe he's always been worthy. Yeah. He just didn't want to embarrass yeah. Thor. Yeah, Cody was your favorite. <clears throat> I think my favorite scene overall just had to be whenever uh, all the portals opened up and uh, everybody collectively came uh, together. Just like chills, chills, like seeing everybody just finally collected in one place against up. one enemy. On like, your ugh. left. Meanwhile, the defenders sitting there waiting for their portal to open. On your left. Uh, it was <laughs> so Daredevil good. Daredevil and Jessica Jones are just ready to go. Uh, a close runner-up to Captain Thor that I'll put over the reveal of everyone coming back is just the climax of the movie, the Iron uh, Man snap. Yeah. Dude, that... I mean, that's, that's honestly a moment that's that really hard to beat. That fucking got me, dude. I was like, I was like I'm going to cry. Uh, Pepper, I, I Pepper's wish that the pacing of his line would have been a little faster. I feel like it, he drug it out a little too long. I mean, like, I okay, you have all six of well, you, you know that one. That was re, you know that was a reshoot, right? Yeah. Oh, they yeah. didn't film but, it the first time. They had to convince him to go back. And um, do it. Oh. Actually, to me, what that read as in the line as Tony Stark was trying to improv something really cool to say, but then just went with Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, I, it was a great line. Yeah. I feel like that it was perfect, but it just wasn't delivered perfectly. Uh, Since the MCU has become famous for its comedy, um, funniest moment in Endgame. Well, what do y'all think? Uh, when you see Fat Thor the first time? Fat, Fat Thor was L- great. Lebowski was really Thor good. was great. Um, um, Hulk in the stairs really uh, got me. I just, <laughs> really, I just, I just loved... When he, uh, when he bursts out, flings the Tesseract, and he's like, so many stairs! I think my favorite like funny moment was when we're introduced to Professor Thor, or not Thor, Professor Hulk, because I felt like it was coming. I was like, I was like, yes, we all knew it. Professor uh, Hulk was, and he just, I didn't know that was gonna happen. When he when he dabbed and the kids just he, looked he, at him he, like he uh. dabs wrong. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, he says dab, yeah. <laughs> dab, and then and then Ant Man. You don't say dab. <laughs> Ant Man oh, trying to get away. Z- do. You do. Zach says dab. You, you, you started say dab. That. dab. Thank you. Only a little dab. <laughs> Only you. because there's not a camera on me. But when you are when you are like physically dabbing, you don't be like dab. When there's no. visuals, you don't say dab. When there's no visuals, you have to say dab. Otherwise, they won't know you're dabbing. Yeah, it's like a, it's like when you're reading an audio book and you have to like say the onomatopoeia. Sure. Uh, sure. I I don't know if I can really pick like my favorite funny moment of it because there were so many good ones like. That That's is America's, America's ass. ass. Just, just, just gonna say this. You guys glossed over me about the favorite part, but you guys <laughs> took mine, so... That's like you like I, I was like you're still on the favorite yeah, part. No, we just like just the favorite moments just, in general. Just say it. I don't like you guys took mine. Like that really was it. Like America's, <laughs> ass. America's ass part. Uh, no, uh, my favorite just moment out of all of it. Oh no, I had another one. Avengers. Assemble. Assemble. Yes. I was like finally dropping that. I wanted him to to say it with some more. Oomph. Yeah, but like it's kind of quiet. I was like, they can't hear you. They're not all on comms. <laughs> but like they all are though, because it's the <laughs> MCU. Not all on comms. <laughs> but he did because he finally said they, it. So they got snapped awesome with their comms in, yeah. so they came back with them. In. Yeah, why not? I will say after both Infinity War and Endgame, I would probably classify Thanos as my favorite villain of all time because yeah. he's he's been built up he was incredible so much though i think and, and he's think, such and a powerful and i'm kind of glad we got an earlier thanos than the one from infinity war because the one in infinity war just seemed tired can can i like uh, he was just ready to be done it, that kind of leads me into uh my my biggest gripes within with uh in game was all throughout like the first like 15 20 minutes because that, and I talked about this, this seems to be my problem with, like, the beginning, like, the first acts of a lot of these MCU films, is the pacing is just fucking, like, we gotta, we gotta set this shit up so we can do it, and I get that, but from the first, like, from when the credits, like, open, and it's like, it's like 15 minutes before they kill 26, 7, uh, 18 Thanos, yeah. and it's, it's like, oh, okay, also, Thanos in a shirt is weird, I just wanna say that. <laughs> This is like a fucking yeah, the, Hanes comfort soft. That kind of goes into like the story overall. Was uh, I had a lot of speculations and theories, but I didn't expect time travel. Yeah, and, and I, I, I mean, I'd heard uh, theories uh, about oh, I, it. I, um, I knew there was time travel fuckery. From they the did time travel. I had no well. idea. 
Look, and I, that's, mean, I, I guess I kind of hope. I uh, usually hope against time travel, and but I feel and, like they did it well. And that was going to be one of my big questions specifically to you. Because you're so yeah. biased against yeah. time travel. Yeah. Because it's so impossible to do without whole plot holes. I mean, but like... But it, they, they found a way that I feel was way more palatable. Like it, because, it, it, because like... You're, the way they explained it is like your the past becomes your new future and the yeah. present becomes your new past it's and you still, don't actually it's, it's change still, anything. It's still linear. Like you're still just doing stuff along a timeline. You're yeah. not changing anything, which I liked that. Yeah, and that's and that's like that was one of the big things going into Endgame because I knew I knew there was time travel shit and I just I wanted to know like what kind of time travel we got and how how is it gonna play out and you telling me back to the future is bullshit i got offended there i got offended there a little bit I I was, did he turn I mean, into a baby i was so glad they called out all of their time travel movies but like their suits in the commercials and stuff i thought like cool they got avengers battle suits now Space i didn't suits. know they were time travel suits did did anybody else think whenever tony stark invented time travel it was a little easy. Yeah, I, I mentioned after the fact. I was like, Tony went from being like time travel. That's impossible. To I solved it within the span of like a few hours. Like, I, I, yeah. I, I flipped a portion of a Mobius strip, and I. It was it. like, let me try this. Oh, it worked. Cool. No, like, and it, that is Tony Stark's superpower. Even though it's, they didn't even show the experiments beforehand, but it was like same night, and he just has the thing, and he's like, "What if I just scrunch it?" Yeah, and it's I like, oh, it it's going to work. A lot yeah. to do with a better understanding of the, the quantum realm. And like, the, they explained something to him that, like, you know, filled in the blanks. Like and it kind of it it it. It just clicked. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think my favorite Thanos point, and I was thinking about this actually after Iron Man snapped and his army starts dissolving and everything, the way that Thanos just silently just sits, down sits the fuck down and he's just like, well, heck. I mean, what it's else like, are they gonna do? But no, it's like you think about it. When have we ever seen such maturity out of a villain like that? Yeah, Killmonger. it's normally supposed to be like I'm losing. I can't lose. Well, it's Wait, like, he's like, well, I guess I lost. It Killmonger destroys the planet. And fantasy villains. That's true. Killmonger did. Fantasy yeah. villains. Most of the time, when they're losing, they'll just they'll yell. They'll throw a tantrum. Do a monologue. Thanos just sits down and he's just like, dang. We well, actually discovered that Loki did not do that. Do what? do what? He didn't have his little tantrum. He he got beat, and then they showed the whole... In the time travel, he, they go back to all these different points. You're talking and, about after the Avengers yeah. throwback? Yeah. I mean, he was being a little bit of a baby. Yeah, but like... Loki's always been of a bit of a baby. But like he didn't throw this huge tantrum no. about it. That's true. Well, he's always got... He always knows he's gonna, he's got some sort of escape plan. Oh, and by the way, that, that timeline... Is fucked now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I th- that's I th- that's I th- the only I one they weren't able. Yeah. They weren't able to actually fix. And that's, I thought theory that um that the Loki show is actually yeah, going to follow. That's the, what I was going to say. Loki that but the thing about it is, if they went further into the past and got the Tesseract from there, then would the Tesseract have even been? They still would have gotten away because yeah. you can't change the timeline. Yeah, you can only branch new ones. Someone yeah. someone pointed out to that me, doesn't make much sense to me. It makes more sense than most time travel. Mm-hmm. Someone someone said and it. At the time, it made sense, but after I thought about it, like I was like, they wouldn't have done it this way. Someone was like, well, why didn't they just go back to the 1970s to just get more pin particles, just like at the beginning? And I was like, well, they didn't. That wasn't the plan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, 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 they the didn't need way to more pin yeah. particles and that, to begin with. That reminds me of another good point that my sister brought up was uh, after ne- bad nebula used good nebula's pin particles to come back. How did Thanos get his ship through there? He he had pin particles. She handed him a thing. I know, but that was bad nebulous. That was that should have been the last of it. Because she had already used she the would pin have had particle. to use that herself oh. to to meet up with the the Avengers. Well, but I, my assumption was that they're they're so advanced technologically that they were able to recreate it. Just like just oh like, yeah, because uh, Squidward was still alive and he was Thanos's oh, yeah. like head scientist the dude. The yeah, Maw. the Maw. I don't know Squidward. Um, yeah, that that was. I mean, there's no justification in the movie, but it's easy to reach one. Yeah, you could based on it. the technology they have. But yeah, that was a little bit of a yeah. hole. So, uh, we've kind of just been. Oh, another really funny part to me when they went back to the attack on New York, and um, uh, 
Captain, was it Cap? He tells uh, Professor Hulk, he's like, smash some stuff along the way, and he's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really loved the moment where Cap meets himself, yeah. and uh, past Cap's like, I could do this all day. He's like, he's like, I know. I know. <laughs> Did it kind of feel like all the Avengers have lost a step from their past selves, though? Had lost They're all step. decently older. Like, like the, the Cap, like his older version, kind of whooped his ass. Well, yeah. When you're younger, you're stronger and, and more then, spry, and can do more things. And because uh, that was Iron Man, like, spent five years doing nothing. So yeah, I doubt he was as like, good as he so, was. And but, Thor obviously so that lost was, a lot of stuff. That was 2012 uh, Avengers. The only that's, person who got better was that's Hawkeye. Like, it's like 11 yeah. years. It's 11 years. Hawkeye that you've been aging. went through. Hawkeye, Hawkeye got better upgrade. with age. Hawkeye got himself a haircut and <laughs> yeah, and, a tattoo, and and he, he he just like he was like, I get it, I get it for sure. See the the um, thing that I see people bring up a lot talking about Hawkeye is, is that like they just kind of overlook the fact that he he just decided to become a serial killer for five years, huh? I mean, it was like. They know that he did like really bad shit. They talk about it at the beginning. Well, it's like, yeah, you know, I mean, he's, at the same he's doing time, some well, bad stuff. Uh, Black, well, they just kind of get through and gave him Black for Widow, it. Black Widow, a, they were all bad people. Like he was going after like gangs and uh, like he was organized the crime. But I mean, the realistically, and, then and B, Black Widow's done way worse. Yeah, and that's and, and she's that's trying kinda, to return the the favor he gave. That also her. bleeds into the morality issue of the whole Robin Hood perspective, yeah. you know, which yeah is really subjective and like it's understandable but that, that's the ba- that's the thing i see a lot of people bring up about hawkeye's character is just like so they're just gonna completely gloss over the fact that he was just like a really bad dude for five yeah. years is there any way to revive somebody who's been sacrificed for the soul stone that's it doesn't it, seem it, like i don't it, think it, so. other other than by like some like crazy cosmic shit i don't think so i bet surfer could do it Surfer could do it. <laughs> Adam Warlock so. probably could. Oh, Surfer could do it. Hey, so Surfer's stronger than you seem to think. No, a Surfer's hella powerful, but I don't know if he has the power so, to revive someone sacrifice for the Soul Stone. So, uh, so I, 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 after what? um <laughs> after I uh, saw Endgame, someone pointed out on the internet that they may have introduced Namor in the X Men. Um. Because they said in the the big in the scene where Black Widow's talking to all the hologram everybody, and uh, they talk about an earthquake in the ocean, and we already know that Atlantis is on a map somewhere, so I think we think that that's Namor, and like I don't know who that is. Namor is the first mutant. Uh, he is like an anti-hero kind of. He comes like he kind of jumps the line between good guy and bad guy a lot. Uh, also, he and uh, Wakanda aren't really good buds so maybe black panther 2 is going to deal with that like oh that, uh, that would of, be interesting yeah wakanda versus atlantis yeah like they've they've always kind of like butted heads bring in the x-men and the sequel and that'd also be, be are we also, actually uh, thinking that x-men are going to canonize into the mcu well it would be cool to see but it, it would be so sense. chaotic with the fact that inhumans are there now and immortals since that's coming out, uh, Could you Eternals. Imagine, Eternals. Eternals. Could you imagine Dark Phoenix and Scarlet Witch fighting somebody at the same time, or just, each other? Galactus. Just fucking delete them, dude. Yeah, you had to throw in someone like Galactus or somebody bigger than that. They did Galactus wrong, and I mean, of course they also have Captain Marvel. So, can I just say to that point, I expected Carol to have a much larger role than she did. Same. I was hoping. I wouldn't say expecting. I was hoping she would, but I get why she didn't. She got her. She got a short haircut, which I'm she, about. She. I like the long hair. I like the longer hair better. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, she, I, like, I mean, she's I got like s- five more movies at least coming, and they, you know, there's a lot of characters that needed a send off, so I, they kind of had to. Can I also say <clears throat> I brought it up in the Captain Marvel podcast? If I can get over everybody, <laughs> like I'm tired of seeing all this. I'm tired of seeing all these like straw man, like these large jumps in logic about. I mean, her realistically, at all. you don't have to be hateful or sexist about it. But you can simply state, I don't like it. I don't like Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. And that's, and that's, if, yeah. if, you, if you ended it that, fine. But as soon as you're like, and also, then if you say I'm not sexist because I like Ellen Ripley and Sarah Connor, then I'm just, I'm done with you. <laughs> like, oh, it's like, there's no sexist connotations about it. I just don't like her performance. It's yeah, that simple. Just, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm, I'm almost at the point where I'm just going to try to avoid any 
behind the scenes stuff. I mean, I just, just, just enjoy the, the universe for I what mean, it I is just, and who's in it. I think she's wooden. That's really it. I kind of like her personality, honestly. Yeah. yeah. So we've kind of just. But anyway, this movie. Yeah, our, we we've we've done the thing that we tend to do, and we jump around a lot. So that's usually what happens. You want to go podcasts. back to the beginning? Yeah. So let's so step so by step? yeah. So step by step. Let's start off with Hawkeye's family. Hawkeye's family. That was, I God. called that shit walking out of Infinity War. God. I thought it would just be like one of the kids, not the he- whole. Oh, ass oh family. no! I knew it was the whole family like because he's, they, he's going Ronin mode. Yeah, it's got to be something. Yeah, yeah it's like, like you can't come back. Yeah, from. and just his sort of like confusion was like it was like oh no clint you can see the panic set in. Just, Oops. i was Ignore really that. shocked <laughs> that they killed current thanos so quickly in yeah the movie. And that's, yeah that was that was the thing with the time travel yeah. i wasn't expecting it i thought that it was just gonna be a series of traveling through <laughs> so, because when, planets. when they did that straight up i was in the theater just like so no Thanos in this movie. So, Are you fucking kidding me? We're getting a little bit of ahead of ourselves. So then we kind of see what Tony's been doing for like the last twenty three days. He's been, play, he's been playing paper football with Nebula. I loved uh, that yeah. whole sequence. Yeah, yeah. Just, I like just just, I like seeing their character seeing how far Nebula's come as a person. Yeah, I love like just seeing how they got off of there and Captain Marvel saving. So them. Now, I thought they this, were going to kill a, Tony right there at the is, beginning. This is a question really I have. Did. Do we think that Captain Marvel? just found him on the way or she did the thing at the end of the captain marvel with the post credit i think she went to earth first earth yeah, first and, and that's what, see that's what i think and everyone's like two six mark is like no they fucking sent him yeah that's um, i mean that's how i took it is that they knew that uh, tony was out there and yeah. that she was the somebody who could go get him yeah and then so but <clears throat> before we get too far off it also speaking like you were saying to uh tony and nebula's interaction I really liked uh, hers and Rocket's interaction. Uh, like yes. as soon as they got yes. back, Cause, cause like he just walks, like Nebula, sits next to her Nebula and like holds is her such hand. An underrated character in this movie. In she my has, opinion. She had. I a, love Nebula. Like, Nebula has come. She had a so great. Far. Had. She had a great She's progression. Come so far. Yeah. And but at the she, and it's because I didn't like her in Guardians one. Well, because you weren't supposed to. But. The, seeing like where she came from and what she's yeah. become, she's one of my favorite characters, and I hope she and sticks around. For what, a while. What's even better about that, or more touching about that Rocket Nebula moment, is Rocket doesn't know. Rocket doesn't know that everybody else on the team, but him, survived. And that's and that's just like well, that's that's part of the thing. Like he's probably realizing it as he reaches yeah. for her hand. Yeah, she's the only when, one. That when just out. the two of them come out, I'm sure he kind of put two and two together. Can we also say that like emaciated Tony is? Just, oh like, my god, dude, it made me so uncomfortable. Dude, and yeah. then and then his whole like rant to Steve, I was like, I fucking get it. Yeah, I get it, dude. You tried and it didn't work out, but you tried and you said, and then Steve was like, Oh, we'll lose together, and just like fuck it, I get it. Like saying we lost yeah. and we weren't together. So. Yeah, and it just like and that just sort of like like hanging up almost of like the well, iron man downey jr's performance was incredible because he really showed how hard losing peter was yeah. for tony like it yeah. really just tore him up mm. so so after that if it little, hadn't been for losing peter he probably wouldn't have gone for the yeah. whole time traveling idea so then so then after that there's this jump cut to about five years in the future so we're in 2023 now and um it it's just like people don't know what the fuck to do, and you know Joe Russo's gay. It's just like you know seeing all of the parking lots still full of yeah, abandoned cars. That was nuts. Like it's like it's kind of yeah. like everything. It's like kind of like a post apocalyptic world, but at the same time, people are like Try- going about their lives and, as and best also, they can. And also, like they try to make you like think thanos was right a little bit because they With were the like pot of whales. yeah they were like there's just whales in like the hudson bay or whatever I was like, and, like, and i still think if they had just left it alone all in all they would have been okay realistically the i don't would have survived and may have become a paradise but you want everybody to come back yeah. well, realistically yeah. i don't think thanos was wrong He's, I, I think, see that's that's the great thing about Thanos' cool character. It's and not I, a nice thing think, to do, I but I don't think he's wrong. I think yeah, he went about it the wrong way. Cause, it's cause an extreme like, measure and to everybody morally corrupt, but yeah. he's right. Cuz cuz everyone was like, why don't you just double the resources? Why don't you do that? See, that's just that's just not his character. Like he was he was my like he was trying to do this all along to try to like make sure everyone survives, but everyone put him down and said no that's fucking stupid so like eventually it just like clicked in him like 
okay, well, I got to do it this way. No, then. you're the stupid. Um, it's because like doubling resources doesn't solve. I did. I skipped over killing Thanos. Whoops. We'll go back to it. Yep. It doesn't really solve the problem no, of all the people. It's people would just get more if greedy. You half the you cut the the um, population in half, then there's fewer people who mm. are going to do fucked up shit. Realistically, if you double the resources, people will consume twice the amount of resources yeah. that they used to. Yeah. So if just, you double the amount of food in the world, people will eat twice as much. It's just how it is. People are greedy. So just kind of like taking like just rewinding about thirty seconds. Uh, so oh, it's rewind time. After after they bring Tony back and that whole shit happens, Captain Marvel's like, let's just let's go get him. Let's just go kill him. And everyone's like, oh, we can do that. And they're like. Yeah, yeah, because Carol did super well when she tried to fist fight Thanos and got her ass knocked to the ground with the power stone. She was winning that fight. Yeah, she. Yeah. We'll we'll get there, but like she took a he- uh, Thanos head, but in that was pretty Didn't funny. Just it. got got fucking stuffed, dude. Um, so they they go to Shrek's house, and Thanos is wearing a shirt, which is the beginning. Shrek, he's grimace. The beginning of that movie was an awful lot like the beginning of Shrek, though, just like, wasn't it? <laughs> just like his, like I still just can't get over Thanos and just like a regular Hanes Comfort Soft shirt. I just it's it's weird to me. And just being a farmer, yeah, just wearing a pair of Wrangler jeans, yeah. like some Doc Martens, just like hanging out. And he's oh my god, some rutabaga. <laughs> There's some rutabaga. They missed such an opportunity by not having Thanos wearing overalls with no shirt underneath. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so they show up and they want the Infinity Stones, but oh no, he has destroyed them. He broke the stones. Which is a weird thing to kind of think about, but it leads me into like, like that's where the multiverse is coming from. Um, so they kill him. Thor is all depressed now and angry. Cause yelling they, at kids on Fortnite because he yep. can't like he can't change what happened like that like, he he fucked up Thor easily and lost more Thor than any held, other he held on to his sanity longer than most would yeah Thor lost yeah. more than any other Avenger and that's, combined and that's honestly just like like again I fucking get it like he's angry at he should have done it right the first time. He's never lost like this, and it's, he has he has a lot of, of he, stuff yeah. that he has to carry right yeah. now. I mean, he he um, lost uh, <clears throat> he lost uh, his home. Yeah, he lost most of all of his people. Yeah, his mom. He couldn't stop Thanos from taking half the population. Which, yep. as like Odin's you know uh, uh, successor, it's his job to protect the realms. Yeah, and he failed all of them yeah. at once. So, yeah, so he he has a lot to blame himself for. And he was understandable. He, the the thing that hurt the most is he was this close to just outright killing Thanos. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Um so then we could do the the five year jump and uh you know, Captain's trying Captain America's trying to move on and Widow is kind of leading this like this pseudo shield almost. Um Yeah, kinda. And everyone's kind of all over the place. It looks like and, it's expanded to include yeah. like as much of the universe yeah. as they can reach. War Machine looked as tired and depressed as he always did. Um, I love that he's still around doing stuff, though. And yep. And then we had the most MVP rodent of all time. Just so in a... What was it? Was it Chicago? Was that where it was at? I forget. Some, some like, storage unit someplace. Oh, Ant- the rat. Ant-Man's van is just impounded. Oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about Rocket. I was like, what did Rocket do in Chicago? No, the the rat that pressed the very specific set of buttons to throw Ant-Man out of the quantum realm. And, uh, you know, he's got to come to grips. Yeah, Cassie's 17 now. That's crazy. He's having to come to terms with, like... Missing most of his daughter's life. Yeah, and... And you know, hope and, uh, uh, hope know, and all Hank of them being and, gone now. And um, you know who Michelle I didn't Pfeiffer. see either were uh, was Cassie's mom and stepfather. Yeah, they they were, could have gotten snapped. Yeah, they could and have. Yeah. And the, the big memorial to everybody and you know, just like that was cool. That was yeah. That was like it. It kind of like hit you. Like you knew like half the universe was gone, but like like it was just like seeing a visual representation like all, of it. Yeah. Was, that was crazy. Um, he somehow gets all the way to, you know, uh, Avengers headquarters and shit, and just some somehow he knows time travel is possible in the quantum realm. Well, I mean, a positive outlook on well, the whole he thing. He kind of time traveled to get there because it was only yeah. five hours for yeah. him. 
Yeah. Positive outlook on the whole thing is probably only like 12 white rhinoceroses were snapped. <laughs> so it's like fair. Not much loss there. Sure. But then with half the population gone, maybe they, they were able to reproduce and actually get out of the uh, near maybe. extinction category. Maybe. Um, so they go. Imagine if there was just like white rhinos everywhere, like cats. <laughs> I'd rather there weren't. Because that'd be. Rhinos are really big. Imagine yeah. two rhinos fighting in a dumpster. Imagine a dumpster big enough to. Fit <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I don't think two rhinos could fit in a dumpster. dumpster. So well, it's like one of those construction dumpsters. So they, uh, so they, after talking to Ant Man. Oh, just, by now we've seen Black Widow's new hairstyle, which is uh, just a mix of what she's yeah, had. Yeah. It really just kind of looks like she just stopped trying to dye it. Yeah, and she was just, just letting it grow up, back out. Gave up on dyeing or cutting it. Yeah. It looked cool when she braided it, though. Yeah, I did. I did like it better than the blonde hair. That was my least favorite one of hers. Um, so they they decide, oh man, they need some brains to go on this operation. Let's go to the smartest guy we know. And Tony Stark is fucking done, dude. He's yeah. like, he don't want yeah, shit man, to do with no Piper Avengers or, or nothing anymore. Can He's I just got a say, daughter, F- Morgan Stark, man, what what a good addition. Yeah. To you just, know, um. There was actually a deleted scene with a grown-up version of her. Yeah. When Tony snapped, he was supposed he was to go, go to that to way the, station yeah. that uh, yeah. Thanos talked to Gamora. Yeah, I, I'd heard about that. But they, they didn't feel an emotional connection to the grown-up version, so they well, took it out. Yeah, there was, like, because we've, we've known her all for, like, two hours. Yeah. So, I mean, and... You know what's one legitimate question I have about Endgame? Tell me. How on earth were they able to manufacture a glove that could harness the infinity stones when the infinity gauntlet is like this uh, supernatural relic almost that was made in the sun forge. Well, yeah, that's a little strange. I, I mean, it, the fact that it basically almost killed everybody that, or did kill everybody that tried to use it. I don't think it was as good as the infinity gauntlet. It was just good enough was, to let you hold all the stones. It was the gauntlet uh, fucked up when Thanos snapped but, it, but that twice. Yeah. That happened whenever he... He had to use it twice. No, at the end end of Infinity War, the gauntlet was fucked. Yeah, it was fucked up at the the end of the first snap. But when he had all of them, it was fine. Like, he he could take all that energy. Like, he was using it it for a while. It was only until... As soon as Hulk put that on, it started killing him. Yeah. It's... I don't don't think... He absorbed the gamma radiation, but when he snapped all the people back... I think the 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 big thing is that the gauntlet basically just like it was a housing reduces unit. the the power from the stones. To maybe you. maybe it was that particular because the first metal. time that Thanos snapped, like the glove was fucked up and everything. Yeah. Yes, but he wasn't really hurt by it. Yeah. The second time he he did it, then it when nearly he destroyed killed the stones. Yeah. And the first time that Hulk and Iron Man both had it, it just like it, burned it, the it, shit it, it, out it of it. It killed him. Iron Man and Hulk's entire right arm is basically rubber. Yeah, yeah, so I think that basically like you don't have to have that metal, but it's almost assuredly going to kill you otherwise. Yeah. The the gauntlet itself just kind of reduces that. Um, well, then you also have to look into what the actual physiology of a titan is and how much tougher thanos actually would be than like hulk or a man true yeah. there's, ver- uh, there's a lot of variables, must not be that variables. Resilient. he's the last one <clears throat> yeah um so well, i mean rhinos are tough as shit the the big thing was that they didn't listen to them and all of their resources and shit ran out so That's maybe they're lame. just as susceptible to starving to death dude if titan just starved to death instead of just like taking over other planets for their resources mm. something strange was going on yeah depression <laughs> so uh the titans were too sad to get out of bed so they just starved so they so they uh try to recruit iron man and he says no um so he, they go back and they try to do it the, their own selves, and Ant Man's tacos get blown away. Ant Man, man oh, he turns into a baby first. He turns into a baby, an old guy. <laughs> uh, Tony just rolls up. Did he turn into a baby? And I don't know if baby me put in my pants <laughs> or professor, old me, Professor or me, me. <laughs> Time travel. <laughs> I consider I this, this a success. A, I consider this an absolute win. Yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, we, we, we meet uh Professor Hulk, who's honestly one of my favorite characters. Um, oh yeah, he was great. Just, Professor Hulk was fantastic. Just cause like it like you're not used to it at first. You're just you, like you you hear Mark Ruffalo's voice out of the CGI Hulk, and he's wearing like shirts and shit. 
and, and glasses. clothes that fit. And it's he's, funny. He's it's, eating like like forty five eggs. <laughs> when he comes and Scott loses his taco and yeah. he comes by and just hands him two. <laughs> did you see that bur- Did Holt. you see that burrito that was on his plate? Oh, yeah. there? It was oh. like a freaking log, dude. dude. I mean, Hulk need a lot of food. He eats like the fucking mountain. It's hilarious knowing that Professor Hulk is just as strong as regular Hulk, but you just don't want to smash. <laughs> yep. he, he, he he has a temper now. <laughs> um. So they try, they try their, their own selves. And meanwhile, Tony just figures it out. He just like, he flips, flips, just, flips just, the Mobius flip strip it. like a fucking Rubik's <clears throat> cube. And he's like, oh yeah, no, I got it. And I then, feel like it has to be mentioned since we're at this point in the movie that, uh, I love you 3000 is uh, the, uh, that's where it's like it. the most heartbreaking line now. That's like a Facebook page. It's, it's the like new, I don't feel so thing. good, Mr. Stark. Did you, uh, do you guys see the thing where 3000 is the total runtime of minutes in the MCU up until this point. No. So if you no. if you add all the minutes for that each film is, it is 3000. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Um god, Morgan Stark like feelsville. Um so he figures it out. Pepper's like, "Can you let this go?" And because Tony Stark is addicted to being Iron Man, he cannot do that. He can't rest, which led to like the best line in the movie yeah. at the end, where she told him he could rest yeah. now. That got me. Like that was uh, so good. And yeah. like he's like he's barely there, and yeah. they're just like, it's okay. I was like, I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> Somebody like, put tears in my eyes. Like I'm getting emotional thinking about it. Um, Actually, the MCU's total runtime is two thousand eight hundred and sixty-seven minutes. Well, so it's close, close enough to 3,000. It sounds better than I Love You 2,867. It's <laughs> not close enough. That's like a whole movie off. Dude, I f- the fucking spreadsheet Well, Spider-Man 3, uh, Spider-Man 2 isn't out yet. So there you go. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> well, if it's exactly enough. Didn't think about that, did you? So uh, <laughs> Tony Stark figures out time travel and is like, you turned to a baby. So they, they decide that they're he's, he's figured it out. So... They oh, s- and he gives Cap his shield back finally, uh, so he doesn't have the the stupid nomad shields. Yeah, I mean, those weren't those weren't his. Those were Condon. Yeah, uh, but- yeah. Well, he was using them, so they're his. <laughs> they were his. Um, so Hawkeye goes back. Hawkeye's back now. He's got his weird hair and his super edgy sleeve tattoo. Um, and he's important in this movie. I mean, he's important because uh, he can use he not only the plays. he uses not only bows and arrows but swords. Uh, yeah. I'm, they actually made Hawkeye do some shit Dude, in this movie. He was a pre, he was he was a beast. So he so he goes back in time and they he uh, they basically figure out okay this works. So this next is a little montage of them figuring out who needs to go where. And we've seen Fat Thor now, and Fat Thor is playing Fortnite with Korg and Meek. And I'm glad that Taika <laughs> Waititi is back. <laughs> New oh, sixty nine. If Thor said some wild ass shit like that to me on a game, I, I wouldn't play that game. <laughs> just like I'm, like I'm, I, I, I get the balls to play Mortal Kombat 11 online, and then and, I just then Thor comes yeah, on. I'm just like, he's like, he's like, if you play Sub Zero again, I'm like, guess I'm not playing Sub Zero anymore. Bring your again. fat ass down here! You're too drunk to fly. <laughs> uh, oh, Valkyrie shows up again. Uh, I actually I speaking of. Uh, I've got to ask, did it seem weird to anybody else that Valkyrie suddenly had a Pegasus out of nowhere? No. Where did that come from? Asgard. His mama. What, what Asgard? The one that's exploded? She took it before they left. When? She Where? She had it in a pin on that planet. She, she got, was. She got it. With the Grandmaster. Maybe Doctor Strange got it for her. Like, I Maybe accepted it. Maybe it's a magical power Valkyries have. Is to just Maybe she had it. a Pokeball Maybe. and it had a Pegasus. What? Like, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm perfectly willing to accept it because it was awesome. Just but she showed up. I'm like, where did you get a Pegasus? Doctor Strange. Probably. One random thing. <laughs> See, Doctor Strange just conjured one. <laughs> one random thing. Some an animal companion. <laughs> one random thing in the Thor scene that actually made me really sad was seeing the fact that he uses Stormbreaker as, as a fucking, fucking bottle, bottle opener. opener. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. And that. And uh. So during like this whole like montage of them figuring it out, like him explaining Thor the Dark World was really funny. <laughs> it's like it's not a stone. So whoever said that. He's to amend it. Stop saying that. <laughs> he's, he's like, he's, he's got like prescription it's, eye drops it's, now. It's more of a. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that more was really, ooze. that was really funny. And then he gets off talking about Jane. Yep. Uh, I gotta say though, the movie did a good job 
of making me increasingly disappointed in what Thor has become. When him and Raccoon go back to Asgard, and he's just like, Nah, nah, fuck this. I'm sad. I was gonna go get drunk in the past. And Raccoon's just like, Yeah, I got the thing. Can- but it did lead to the great moment of him being able to talk to his mom again. That uh, was a great scene. Uh, yeah, that was nice. She taught him that uh, he, he was still worthy. I, I, where- loved, I loved, he was like, Oh, Wait, because as soon as he went back to Thor: The Dark World, I was like, "He's gonna get the hammer back." And then, like, it it dicks around for like twenty minutes. Like, they cut back and forth between the different time travel I'm segments. Totally from the future. <laughs> <laughs> and like, so they dig around for twenty minutes. He talks to his mom. Rocket does all the heavy lifting, and the one scene where he's running, he's like, "I got it!" And like the <laughs> yeah. whole Asgardian <laughs> army is yeah. chasing. He, him. He's just like, "Dude, we gotta go!" And then he's like, "Hold on, I didn't think about this before. Hold on." And then he's like, what are you doing? He's like, mom's like, takes a minute. <laughs> Eat a salad. <laughs> Eat a salad. I love that he never even used like his Asgardian powers to get fit again. But yeah. when they battle up, he just conjures he's fat, fat boy fat armor. armor. <laughs> I, I knew for sure. It's like when he gets his stuff back and he goes beast mode, it's just gonna he's going to tone out again. Yeah. He's gonna be no, he fuck. just made fat nope. boy armor. Uh, no. that's, that's what I was expecting. That's, and that's then he my, had the fat uh, boy armor. I was like, oh, we're just stuck with fat Thor. Okay. Oh, cool. So Thor's armor now has a fucking expanding waistband. Nice shit. <laughs> get man. the bl- <laughs> breastplate stretcher. I also like how it like braided over. his beard and stuff. Oh, for dude, him. it made me think of. It made uh, him look like Odin. I like it. In, in the oh, Thor's look in the f- Act Three battle scene uh, was incredible. Uh, it made dual me, wielding the Stormbreaker and, and Mjolnir. It, it made me think of uh, in the books. There's a uh, there's a the char- books. there's a character called War Thor. It's Volstag, the big fucking fat uh, warrior three. Uh, uh, I read about that story. Yeah, yeah. he. Uh, Basically, in the war of the before the War of the Realms, Malekith's doing all kinds of horse shit, and in the land of the dwarves, the Muspelheim forces come in, and he's trying to like get kids out of there, and this they the kids explode into fire in front of him, but he lives because uh, a goblin gets blood on him, and that's the only way to quench that fire. So he just watched all these kids die for in war that he was trying to prevent, and so he goes and finds what looks to be Stormbreaker. It's like it's a very axe like hammer. And he becomes the War Thor, and he's pissed. Yeah, and hmm. he's like, he, well, he's dead. Yeah, so um, he went out like a bitch. But that, but that kind of design made me think of War Thor, is what I was trying to say. Yeah. Um. So, back to the timeline. They they figure out where they need to go. They need to go to two. 2012 during the Battle of New York because there's three stones there. I love that too. How in the final movie they kind of run back through yeah. some of their biggest movies. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool seeing those moments again. They got to go. To I, I was really happy to see uh, the ancient one again. I was. Oh, I love Tilda Swinton. Yeah, I, and then you're she's so time weird. Time, she her character is great. How you can't change it. Yeah. I loved the interaction of Hulk and uh, the ancient one. I, that was I like really. The, cool. I like that she was like, "Here, let me show you a diagram," <laughs> and then she she explained it like that, like. That's how you do fucking exposition. It was so fucking good. I was like, okay, I get it now. I don't feel pandered to. When she just palmed Bruce Banner right out the Hulk, and, I'm just like, oh and, no. And I thought it was cool seeing that she was out there fighting yeah, during that and, battle. And it, yeah. it explains like what were the sorcerers doing during all this? They they were doing it. They were just being real low key about it. Yeah, they just didn't want a lot of people knowing it. Yeah. Um. So so they got to go to twenty. 20- 2012, they gotta go to uh, whatever the fuck Thor of the Dark World took place, and they gotta go to 2014 when uh, Guardians of the Galaxy was happening. Yep. And I think, I think Morag kind of like takes my favorite out of those, oh, and Vormir, they gotta go to Vormir. Yeah, um, which exists you can't, you can't forget in the some Vormir space and uh, time. So, but they do that going back to 2014 and Morag, like, uh, so Clint and Natasha go to Vormir, War Machine and Nebula go to Morag, Cap, Hulk, and Iron Man are in 2012, and then and Ant Man, and Ant Man, and then uh, Rocket and Thor go back to Dark World. I don't know what year that is, um, yeah. and I think I think Morag's my favorite because like they, re- they have the they, opening scene they re- the opening, of Quill, yeah. and then so like they have the music playing from the opening of Guardians, and Quill's doing his thing, and then they just cut to War Machine and Nebula, and there's no music, and you're like. So yeah. he's an idiot. And he's singing off key. Yeah. And it's like, oh yeah. Not in your world, you look like an asshole. <laughs> and I love how like 
Nebula throughout that entire point was like she knew what the fuck was going on, and then War Machine was like, it's like there could be traps or whatever. She just fucking strolls in. <laughs> he he goes to like when you movie go to references a, a lot. He does when you go to a place called the Temple of the Reality Stone. You expect traps. <laughs> uh, so did anybody else? That was a, another weird point though, uh, because when Rhodey goes back, she doesn't go with him because of the connected yeah, network with it, Bad Nebula, and that's and that's a. That's, but I don't get why after she had her little freak out, she didn't just go then. Why she stayed in the ship and let herself get taken. Yeah. Well, I want. Uh, it wasn't synced up. She wouldn't go back to the same time. Yeah. She yes, yes, she could because Bad Nebula did it. Yeah, like I mean, it, like their little time traveling GPS. It doesn't <clears> matter <throat> when they start. Yeah. Was it messed up? No, she just no. she freaked out and then didn't try it again. May, I, I don't know. The, the best explanation or explanation I can give is that something about the tractor beam technology stops that from working. Yeah. Is it just me? Um, or, well, no, it's probably not just me, but seeing 2014 Nebula is just such an obnoxious, boot-licking, terrible character. Well, that's that that goes to say to show what we were talking about earlier. Yeah, it's to, it's with to just, give you a like a reminder yeah. of where she started. Yeah, how far she's come. The scene with Hawkeye and uh, Widow oh. and Formeyer was rough. That caught and, me off guard. And, and yeah. And here's here's another one of my gripes that, that people have that I I agree with. Why didn't Nebula tell them about that? I don't know. Because if she if if she she knew, knew about it for sure. Yeah. If she because Gamora told her. Maybe because she knew that it had to happen. And she just let oh, everybody really? make their decision on where they best needed to go, and just I, I guess that, she knew I, whoever I, went would make the sacrifice. I guess that's kind of fair because if she knew that, if she knew that a sacrifice had to be made, then she, like no one would have done it. Theoretically, like I feel like she knew any one of them would have done it for the rest of them. Oh yeah, so that's why she didn't say anything because she was letting them work out who needed to go where do on you guys, the trips, and so she just. Do you guys agree that? Do you guys agree with the call that? Uh, Natasha was the one to lay down her life. Either one of spoiler, them would've, would've, Black it, Widow dies. Either yeah. one of them would have would have hurt. Overall, uh, after thinking about it, I was like, it, it makes the most sense for it to be Natasha because I mean, besides Bruce, like there's nobody like that Natasha needs Clint, to come home to. Clint's Clint family. has to come back to his family. Yeah, and that's I think the whole him being a like a killer now was supposed to play against that. So it could be either and, or, and but I, I still, I guess I would have chosen Clint to survive, but mm-hmm. I didn't want Black Widow to die by any means. I, it right. was, I, it, you don't want either of them to go, and, but you know, one of them has to. It was, it was one of those scenes that like, like you, you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. And it was, it was really like, like you kind of think like, oh, something's going to happen at the last minute to save both of them. I, I was hoping it'd be like, well, I love the sword. <laughs> <laughs> Because all he says is, like, you have so, to accept something Yeah, that's something good enough. Realistically, what if they just, like, throw Red Skull over the cliff? I nah, thought about no that, one, too. No one loves Red Skull. Yeah. Red Skull is the inceliest of incels. Red tired. Skull fucked up in his own movie so hard that he got banished to be the Grim Reaper on some sad boy planet with an orange <laughs> rock. <laughs> Do you notice he, like, he kind of disappeared before they had their little fight? Like, yeah. he told him and then got sick of waiting on him to decide, so he just bailed. Well, didn't he do that with Thanos and Gamora, too? He's just I like... I think he watched nah, that. He was, he was there. So, <clears throat> so basically... Red Skull's dumb. So, the big, the big, the big beats from this... The, so, the, the movie, in the three hours that this film takes place, we got setup, time heist, cool shit. And during the time heist, uh, in New York, the time stone gets... Uh, no, sorry, the Space Stone gets taken by Loki. Yeah, because we cover everything else. Holt got the Time Stone. Holt got the Time Stone. The they got Island. Loki's Scepter. They got Loki's Scepter. But then, now that the Space Stone's gone, they got to go even further back to 1970. To where, get more pins. To get more pin particles Tesseract. and the Tesseract, which was so nice. It was it was like, like Tony got to be with his dad again. Tony yeah. seeing his dad was great. And then Cap got to see Peggy, and it was just like, Oh man, all these fields. I don't know how Peggy didn't see him. Oh, this, right? those blinds were <laughs> like, so open. The open blinds like six inches away from each other. He's just staring at her. What would she have done if she looked up? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, I, I just want to say I did love uh, 
in one of the Easter eggs is they had the like the original Ant Man helmet on the desk. Yeah, I which saw looks that. I super that. shitty. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> Stanley's cameo in 1970 uh, was great. That was great. The last one. The last one. Uh, so Tony has a good moment with his dad because like, uh, uh, Howard tells him that his wife's pregnant and about to give birth, like within the next few days or whatever it made it seem like. And he's like, you're going to do okay. And you know what I would have done? I would have pulled a prank on myself and convinced my dad to name me something really fucking stupid. Well, he was going to name something fucking stupid and he, he put an end to that. Yeah. Yeah. It was like Almanzo or something. Almanzo Stark, the Iron Man. Could you even imagine? There's one reality where that's got to be the case, man. Um, <laughs> I just go by Al. Uh, Al Stark. So they do all that. Uh,. War Machine goes back. Uh, we covered War they Machine. Get the, they get the power stone. Widow, Nebula gets kidnapped. Widow uh, sacrifices herself. So Clint has the soul stone. Meanwhile, Nebula's got... Uh, she got kidnapped because there's some weird spatial interference. It's because she, she apparently runs on some kind of network. I yeah, don't know why she needs it, a network with just it, her brain. It, but it, it interferes with the old it was. It was another one of my little gripes that I had. I was like... It makes sense like we to gotta bring get, it to a head. We got to get Thanos to the end somehow. I guess this is the way we're doing it. Uh, and also, 2014 Thanos learns that he succeeds. Yeah, he succeeds. He, what he's he is just justifi- inevitable. He is justifying himself now because what what he was going to do, he did, and so he knows what happened happened, but also knows that he is. Unfortunately, dead. it. Uh, I don't think it was because he died that he made the decision. Is because they could succeed in undoing it, so he has to make it to where yeah. no one would even try. Yeah. So, so we so get all. No, the st- they had the stones again. So they they basically collect all of them for so him. So we get all the stones back. They make the glove. Holt snaps everyone back. And meanwhile, uh, Thor also has one of the most emotional moments I think because he they're debating who needs to snap their fingers. And Thor is trying so hard to make everything right. Yeah. And he's like, it's got to be me. And he's breaking down. Meanwhile, Hulk says, like, the best line, I think, I was made for this. Because the stones radiate gamma radiation. And I just like, that's what Hulks are made of. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Professor Hulk. Hulk You do that. So Hulk snaps everyone back. And we're thinking, like, maybe something nice is going to happen to this movie. And then a fucking Thanos or, oh. pops out of the living room, dude. I just got, I got blows fucking, that shit up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, like that, like that shit was crazy. But then, like when Ant Man, like they, like they succeed, and everyone's like, "Hell yeah, we did it!" And then it pans up, and it shows the ship just as the rocket comes up. I got fucking jump scared. I was like, "No!" <laughs> and Ant- I look like Ant Man almost got uh, blown up. He's I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, quick with that button. I'm gonna be real. Ant Man died. And then <laughs> died for sure. Like so, shrinking shit in him safe. No. It's, uh, well, it, it plays in perfectly to his character. It's quantum suicide. I mean, dude, that man. He How should've... does Ant Man breathe if he becomes smaller than an air particle? His mask. I don't know, man. I don't question it. With his lungs. <laughs> yeah. Like, imagine <laughs> imagine just going up to a fat ass oxygen molecule and just, like, taking a bite out of it, just like, oh, breath. <laughs> that's, what, that's how Sonic survives in water. <laughs> Well, uh, like the whole quantum realm thing is silly because yeah. like they explain the shrinking as like shrinking the space between atoms. Yeah. But they're getting smaller than atoms. Yeah. I don't know. It's I'd choose not to really think about like it too could, much. You could go smaller than however yeah. many atoms are making you. I choose not to think about it too much cuz then cuz then fuck uh, cuz then you think you get into like like my brain starts to hurt and then like I start to like not enjoy what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Um so Thanos destroys the Avengers compound. So getting That's in, crazy. getting into act 3 which cool is shit. phenomenal. The cool shit. And we start the battle. The scene with Thanos in his war gear with that fucking double blade thing. Double bladed I, I, I choose to think that those are the blades of the Thanos copter. <laughs> <laughs> Which and should so have been an end game. Thor Cap. Is there really and, a Thanos copter? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the old comics he had a little a mini helicopter that and it said Thanos him. on the <laughs> side. Thanos he had a Thanos on copter. One of, one of my favorite parts of that <gasps> That's bit. That's fantastic. One of my favorite parts of that bit was like like the the compound's fucked, and somehow uh, Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America come like like Thanos is just sitting there. Yeah, he's it's kind of like the big three versus yeah, the and big so, bad. And so and like, they were getting their asses spanked. B- but before that, they're looking until at until the best look, scene in the movie. They're they're looking at him, 
and and uh, the cab just goes. He's just sitting there. He's like, "Should we go in?" It's like, "You know, it's a trap, right?" And Thor's, and Thor's just like, "So long as we're all on the same page." And then he transforms. I was like, oh, "It was yeah. so good. It was so good." <laughs> and I, I've wanted to watch it on repeat forever. It's just like it. He's Fat Thor. He's War Thor, and they're going down to fuck with him. When and Thor and Cap were fighting back to back, and then. Thor takes the Mjolnir, does a double strike on somebody, yeah. and then he looks... You take the no, little no, one. Uh, Cap actually caught Stormbreaker and used it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then he's like, no, give me that one. You, you take, t- the, you take, you take yeah. the little one. You take the little one. one. Uh, so they get their asses handed to him, and then all of a well, sudden... they Cap almost turned it on him yeah. when he took the hammer. Yeah. Like, he started beating his ass for a little bit, yeah. but then and then the shield broke. And all, then all of a sudden, you just hear, hey, Cap, on your, on left. your left. And I was like... like Hell, like it was one of it was one of the biggest fan servicey moments that I've ever experienced, and it was it will never be done again. See, I didn't even yeah. notice the first time I watched it, but you know the armies are coming mm. through. You see Wakanda. I didn't notice the Asgardians suiting up and coming through the first time. Mm-hmm. I saw it the second time. Yeah, the As the Asgardians are there. It, it and I didn't even consider them bringing the armies in. Mm-hmm. Like I always, I was just thinking, you know, all the Avengers are going to fight them together. But it made it so much better that it was like a full battle. Yeah. Uh, All the sorcerers, the Wakandans, the Asgardians, like just everybody and their mothers. And it Scarlet it, Witch gets her payback. Uh, she, she delivered one of the best lines in the movie, in my opinion. He's like, you took everything from me. And he says, I don't even know who you are. She says, you will. <laughs> and then she beats his ass. She, she could have beat Thanos right there yeah. if it hadn't been for a ship raining fire. Yeah, that was... That, if you, if you people want, really underplay how strong Scarlet Witch actually is, oh no, is. I she's know super she's strong, incredibly especially powerful. when she's pissed. Yeah. Um, what was like, like she's probably like a tier below Marvel Surfer and Warlock. Did you? Yeah. Did you guys like? I think wh- she's uh, she uh, at her best is on par with Captain Marvel. Whenever, when I the don't portals, think she's when the portals strong. opened, up. I think, I think it's it, close because they both get their powers from an, an Infinity Stone, and they don't seem to have a limit. Yeah. I, I I don't know. It's weird scaling. Like, like if you look at what Scarlet Witch has done in the comics and assume she has some of that power. I would say that from the evidence that's been presented in the, the cinematic universe, at her best, she's probably a match uh, for Marvel at her worst. Mm. Like, um, Marvel at her best definitely is stronger than Scarlet did, Witch. Did you guys have, like, a favorite, like... Oh, like whenever the portals opened and everyone made their entrances. Did you guys like? I have a favorite one of those. Doctor Strange. Scarlet Witches was really good. No, Spider Man. Sp- Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly I, I, almost forgot about Spider Man. So no, I and like, like, oh no. And dude, just, when Spider Man swung in, I had like a childlike moment. I was like, "Is back." And, and dude, also, he was like, "Activate it to kill mode." Oh. And his arms just fucking like stabbing people and, everywhere. And, and I, think yeah, whatever. I think it's because Spider Man had one of the most emotional deaths in infinity war that him returning was like like everyone was like fuck yeah when he goes yeah. up to tony and he's telling him the story, like, remember when we were in space <laughs> it's like nothing's changed at all whenever yeah, he's yeah. Yeah. iron man hugs him this is nice <laughs> it's strange that it's been five years we gotta go yeah which when, establishes <laughs> the fact that everybody who was snapped has no recollection at yeah. all of being snapped. when he w- when valkyrie was taking him through the battle he's like hi my name's peter blah, 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 and he's just like trying to like <laughs> just do that peter parker shit <laughs> Yeah, that moment of everybody just kind of carrying Peter for yeah. a minute while he has the gauntlet, and then he gets fucking. Then like, you get the girl power moment. Ah, uh, yeah, lo- which I thought was I a thought good was scene. a great scene. I-, I loved that. Like I loved seeing them all. Realistically, like, I, I didn't, didn't even realize it was like a girl power thing at first. I was like, oh, okay, a bunch of them were grouping up, and then I realized it. I was like, my, okay, my, that's cool. My favorite. Part I about honestly it. didn't even think of it until you mentioned yeah. something. I'm just like superheroes. My, uh, <laughs> so it's like all the girls and Spider Man. My, my yeah. favorite thing was like he gets his like. He gets his balls rocked by something and flies into the ground, just like cl- like holding on to the Infinity Gauntlet and Captain Marvel. It's not shows, the Infinity Gauntlet. See, I or, thought that was a, uh, a good uh, Captain yeah, Marvel yeah. moment. Yeah, like, it was like, like, Peter Parker. It's like, it's like, hi, Peter Parker. It's like, hey, Peter Parker, you got something for me? I was like, see, it's moments yeah. like that. They're going to fuck. That, that I, <laughs> it's like, oh, I got something It's moments like that, that that I actually do. I really do appreciate Brie Larson yeah. as Captain Marvel because I like those yeah. moments. So, so It was then, a good moment. So then, like, and then you start to realize, like, actually how many, like, 
badass ladies we got going on right now. There's Dude, a lot fucking of them. Pepper Potts showing up Pepper in the armor. Was fucking, shit. fucking rescue? Yeah. Hell yeah. Is that her name? Yeah. Rescue? Yeah. Dude, when she showed up and the thing came up and saw it was uh, Pepper, I was like, oh. fucking A, it's Pepper. And I was like, uh, but but what I was, after the fact, I was like, I, I was like, how did she learn to do that? And I was like, oh yeah, they've had five years. <laughs> They, they've had that. And also Iron Man 3 happened. And that's not the yeah. first time she's kicked ass. No. Iron Man 3. Iron she, Man 3. Uh, she went beast mode. Yeah. So, like, that shit was crazy. And then then you have them, like, like everyone almost gets, like, a turn at Thanos. Are we, like, still, ta- of, are we still talking about the females or just in general? We're, 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 well, we're, we're kind moving, of moving from the girl. Because the Wasp the coming back was really cool. Oh, I, I like yeah. her a lot. Oh, yeah, the Wasp um, coming back was great. Fuck. Evangeline Lilly. Yeah, she's great. Um, um, besides Spider Man, which is a clear fan favorite, my favorite comeback reveal was Doctor Strange. I love, I love Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange. I'm Same. so I'm very I'm hyped for the sequel. So it's gonna be incredible. Doctor like Strange Doctor is Strange. back, uh, and um, just just his like silent like back and forth between Tony, is, like that that whole thing where Doctor Strange came in because he came in with the Guardians. Yeah. So that was a good entrance, and th- then they uh, the charging at each other mm. scene. Yeah, something about Avengers like, seeing Star Lord flying over oh, along yeah. with the Iron Man and everything. Like, I'm like, it, it just all came together like, in such a perfect way. Like yeah. I, when it finally clicks, that it's like the gang is all here. And like I, I, I appreciate DC for what they're trying to do now. You are not going to top that DC. <laughs> You never will. And don't you have try. To, you I don't have to fail. accept that. I don't want to tell them that they'll never do it because if they finally take the time and take ten or eleven years to build something, they might. If, if they, God, if Justice they done, League was so rushed. If, they've if got they, a lot of good heroes if, and if characters. They I, could do it. DC I, has I, incredible I, heroes I and incredible agree. villains. I super yeah. agree. Aquaman, I thought was really fun. Shazam was great. Wonder Woman was okay until the end. Like before Endgame came out, Man of Steel was my favorite superhero like, movie. They they have the they they can do this. They can they can create this huge universe like they want to do. They just gotta take the time. But Wonder oh Woman was good. Oh my god, you were not <clears throat> topping that. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the Justice League was like the third movie in the whole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, you can't that's do, ridiculous. You can't do a bringing everybody together movie when, when you, you haven't have, even or like no set an origin for their yeah. characters. Like I remember, in, I remember in Justice League, Aquaman fucks off to Atlantis for a bit, and Mira shows up, and they talk in water for like thirty seconds. I don't know what the fuck's going on. The, no one talked about that before, and now they're acting like it's some big thing that I need to know. And meanwhile. I've had 11 years over here and I can like I'm, I'm emotionally connected to like these 45 yeah, characters. Yeah, most of them got like, origins. Yeah, it's or their origin was a big part of another movie. It's like them coming yeah. back. I was emotionally connected each time someone walked through one of those portals. I was connected to that. Yep. And it it just it's man, it just goes to show when how they, much Marvel cares, you know. Like, yeah, there's a lot of money and a lot of heart in those movies. Yeah, and like I said on Facebook, this is a love letter, man. Like, to 11 years of work, to fans, to comic book movies, like, it's nothing like this will happen again. Having no after no, credits Until scene Marvel was, does it again. Until they do it again. <laughs> Having, in like, 20 but years. I got, yeah. I got, we said before going in that this is probably the biggest cinematic event of our lives. Yeah. In the ending credits, deadly so far. In the ending credits, when it had all the main Avengers uh, full body shots with their signatures of the actors, I was like, it's, "That's it." Yeah, yeah. And then having um, no ending, having no after credit scene after that, that was really the hammer in it. It was so, like it's done. Yeah, so, and they played the sound of yeah. Tony making the first so, Iron Man. So uh, mm-hmm. just to finish up the film, they they get the stone. They are they trying to get the stones back to their original timelines, just so Thanos can have them. Well, let's talk about the funeral a little bit first. Oh, well, I was. This is going to get into that because we got to talk about Tony actually dying first. Like, in oh, I thought you were yeah. done with the battle. No, th- so they're just to kind of fast forward in in the uh, interest of time. They're trying to get the stones out of there, and Thanos gets the gauntlet again, and Captain Marvel's fucking him up. Takes the headbutt like nothing's fucking happening. He takes the power stone out, which is a fucking good move. I thought it was smart, yeah. but it also showed Tony how yeah. to stop him. Yeah, so he took the power stone out, clocked her in the face, which I'm sure some incels on the internet were happy about. And uh, so Tony gets the gets all the stones, and he's like, "Say what you will about it, the I am Iron Man line 
it was. I thought it was dope. It was, it was so great. good. I, I think it was an incredible line. Like I said, my only yeah. problem with it, I wish it would have been paced fe- a little better. Like you feel about that line the way I felt about the Avengers Assemble yeah. line. Yeah, that's where I kind of wanted it to be said a little differently, but uh, I, I'm taking what what they give me yeah. on this. Oh yeah, it was so, fantastic. I'm I'm glad that it was in there. So Thanos, it was, had to be Tony. Yeah. yeah, really thinking about it, it had to be Tony. Yeah, because he started it all. I and think now, everybody was thinking it was going to be Cap because of all the talk like Chris Evans has done after mm-hmm. this movie. Like everybody was just waiting to see and, him die, but it makes so much more sense for Tony to do it because the MCU revolves around basically Iron Man. is the Iron Man story. Yeah. 100%. There's a yep. lot of important characters, but it's the Iron Man story. It had to be Tony. And Iron Man can finally rest. He can finally rest, and Cap got his happy ending. The and second Far From Home trailer was really sad to me. Yeah. but we'll, With Peter reminiscing on... um. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that. <laughs> oh, I, haven't, I haven't seen the second trailer. Uh, you should it's that. really good. Um, I'll look it up. Shows so, a lot of Mysterio shit, too. So, nice. Tony Stark dies in Pepper the makes me of, cry by telling him he can rest. In the arms of Pepper and Peter, which is a reverse of the shot we got in Infinity War. And then we have a funeral. With everyone. With everyone, including the little fuck-off kid from Iron Man 3. Man 3, who yeah. nobody recognized until they got out of the movie and went <laughs> and looked it up. <laughs> and Nick Fury's back. Nick Fury's back, and just like... And I did enjoy the funeral scene. That was the most just, emotionally taxing yeah, scene. Just like Especially opinion. since they, they included uh, the proof Tony Stark has a heart. heart. As they were going through the face, I was looking at each face. And I was like, this is... And just feeling it for them. It like, yeah. And also, just like that kind of like... Did you see Nebula during the yeah. funeral? How, like, she's just, like hanging her yeah. head. And it's just like, it goes through like every major character in the MCU. All And it's just kind of like, they're all there because of Iron Man. And it's just sort of like it just it just symbolizes where we are as like a fan base and like solidifying this, that just this like Iron Man story yeah, and what came and what was born of it. I mean RDJ is an accomplished actor, but he will now forever be Iron Man. He's, he's he will. He'll I forever mean, be Iron Man. Chris Evans will forever it's be like the Captain Dan- America. It's like the Daniel Radcliffe Chris curse. Will be Thor. Yep. It's like the Daniel Radcliffe curse. He Daniel Radcliffe should just quit acting. I mean, Daniel Radcliffe has done a lot of really good stuff after Harry Potter. Yeah, but he's just fucking Harry Potter, dude. Like, like, like Swiss Army Man? I I said good things. <laughs> it's like that stupid-ass movie Horns. It's like, oh, it's Harry Potter, but I he's a demon horns. in love. I liked Horns. Stupid as hell. That's a I different movie, horns. though. Horns it, was, it was an interesting movie. Um, Dumb as But hell. that's not the movie we're talking so, about. So. so the funeral... it Whenever, whenever Happy... Was talking to Morgan. Yes, that was the next thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, the cheeseburgers. It's like, yeah. Cheeseburgers. And it's kind of. It's almost like she doesn't really she, understand. Of course not. Kids, fully. kids, kids too little. Kids don't it, understand. It was, it was a very real moment. And she's like, "I want a cheeseburger." And Happy, the first thing Happy did when Iron Man or Tony got back, back from, from from being was got the, him a burger got him a king. Burger. Got him a fucking Burger King, man. And just like, is that uh, a whole Burger King? Oh, no. Yes. Poor Happy. I mean, he's Tony Stark. And he can have whatever Burger Kings he wants. He was Iron Man's so bodyguard. We also, we also got confirmation that uh, Vision, Vision's dead as fuck. Vision's dead. Gamora's still dead. Um, uh, Widow's dead. I saw, like, uh, people, were, I don't know if, if it was you or somebody else. So, like, since Vision. Future Gamora is Future now Gamora part may, of it. Future Gamora may be running around still, we but think. But they didn't show her or after, past, past after Tony snapped, so she could have been snapped away. I think she could have just gone back. I don't know. I, I think, think I, the point that they were trying to get across with that is that she disappeared, and so they have to go and find her now. Why exactly? That, that's setting up for Guardians Three. Why exactly couldn't Vision come back? Is it was, is it was because he was fueled by the Soul Stone? I think so. Yeah, that they put back on Vormir. I, I think it's well, because he wasn't snapped. He no, he was he was when I think when Hulk that, snapped, he was thinking. Bring back everybody Thanos snapped away. Also, it was the Mind Stone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was the the yellow one, right? Yeah, yeah the Mind Stone. Yeah. Um, first, the one that Loki had. It was a similar color. <laughs> there, there are different shades. Yellow yeah, and that, that, that was my take on it, is the Gamora is still out there. Yeah. Like, the past Gamora is now uh, and Adam part Warlock of this. And and the and her future. Yeah. The Asgardians of the galaxy have to go Realistically, find past Gamora. I'm so stoked that Thor is going to uh, be part I'm of the Guardians so, now. I'm so down for Asgardians Which means that the if, they, if they bring in Adam Warlock in Guardians 3, like we think, we're going to have a straight-up dick-measuring contest between Thor and Adam Warlock. And, and that's going to be hilarious. I'm going to love it. <laughs> 
fuck Chris Pratt. Star okay? Lord. Star Lord. Don't say I love Chris, Chris Pratt. Star no, Lord. Amazing. Is he, Star Specifically Lord in the MCU, Star Lord is a raging retard. Star oh, Lord. Man. Star Lord thinks he's so fucking cool, man. And I, I love, love it. Lord. Just because. Like, just because. <laughs> when he's just like, I'm the boss, and then he looks at Thor, and he's like. <laughs> Yeah, of course you are. Of course you're the boss. Sure. I just yeah. renamed our organization to fit my needs, but <laughs> I hope we see more Valkyrie too. Did you guys Valkyrie? Yeah, I think speculation that her and Captain Marvel are a thing. I feel like I feel uh, like Valkyrie deserves a belt. I'm pretty sure that it's it's confirmed that Valkyrie is going to be coming back for Thor four. Uh, yeah. because uh, they recently, I, I just I just read a thing talking about Chris Hemsworth. Apparently, he sounded like just signed like, back on for like five more yeah. movies. Uh, and they they talked to her actress uh, about that for Thor four, Did so you guys, indicating that she's going to be in it. I feel like Valkyrie deserves that. more than eight minutes of airtime. She's a great character, but she's been a secondary character in the movie she's been in. She needs like this some prime time. That kind of like plays into what I was going to bring up next. Do you guys think they returned the king Return of the King to the ending a little bit? <laughs> how what do you mean? How they had like. How they ended the movie like a cut, like they had to end the movie a couple times for each different character. Yeah, I mean like, that's how like, that always happens. Because like, yeah, like, like, like they ended it, like they ended that. it with Thor because he gave new Asgard over to Valkyrie and he fucks off with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, who else? They en- they ended it with uh, Morgan and Happy. I consider. Um, and then they ended Cap it, got his. They ended it with about. Cap. And did you did you guys have any hope that whenever he went back to put all the stones back? That he was going to return to that platform, just no, yeah. no, no. I, I, I knew. No way. Captain, I, was like, I not didn't know back. his old man version was going to be sitting over on the side. Captain I did got not the, expect him to come. Back. Captain got the ending he deserved. Yep. Captain yep. deserved. Oh, Captain deserved a life. Did you he guys? And Peggy Carter. Peggy Carter earned. Peggy, Peggy Carter earned that too. Did you guys? Yeah. Uh, you guys, Team Falcon or Team Winter Soldier for Cap? Um, I wanted Winter Soldier strictly because he has superpowers. Mm-hmm. And and Sam doesn't, but I'm completely cool with Falcon being Captain America. Cool, like I'm not against the idea at all. I just I, I just, just think Captain America should be superpowered. Someone someone said that like because like Captain Bucky will always have that uh, sort of connection. But yeah. Because of what all Sam and him have gone through, I don't like Bucky as good as Falcon. And also also Bucky has shown that he can be mentally manipulated. Yeah. So, yeah, he's he's kind of a risk. Yeah, uh, but I think they're going to get their own show too. I think. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it, was, it, was, it was it was called Falcon and Winter Soldier, but they might change that. To oh yeah, Captain that was America that was that Winter was Soldier. that was completely a placeholder. No, no way was yeah. that just. I don't. Be so the I don't name. I'm not hyped on any of the shows. Also, though. I think Wandavision was also a. That's misdirect. a terrible name. I was. That, that, I think that's a misdirect. I hope Vision. it is because that is an awful name. Because Vision super dead. I don't, well, I see, hate, the idea uh, from what I've gathered is that she's going to go back in time to a point. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's supposed to take place 1950s. in like the fifties. Yeah, so oh, she's going to go back in time. I kind of dig on Vision. that. I don't. I don't dig on any of them being relegated to a streaming service I series mean, that you have to the way that buy, I, get a whole new streaming service to watch. The way, the way that I see it is like, yeah, that sucks. But like, I mean, I hate it, especially for Scarlet Witch. I mean, do we know how much it's going to cost yet? No, uh, but it's not going to be as big. As the movies, yeah, I don't, I don't know, but that, that's I'm with him on that. I, I feel like the uh, Scarlet Witch deserves more sure. than a streaming television sure, series. Absolutely, hers right. in particular bothered me, but I don't think any of them deserve to get relegated uh, to that. So Cap gets his ending, man, and then we end yeah. on seeing him and Peggy just dancing in the living room. Yep. Which uh, I, I didn't uh, realize until after the fact uh, was uh, connecting the end of Captain America 1 where mm-hmm. uh, he's like, I'm going to have to uh, yeah. postpone that dance. It didn't occur to me in the moment. I was just like, oh, that's very sweet that he's, he got his, his yeah. Peggy and everything. You think he told her that he made out with her niece? Oh, Probably no. not. No. Probably not a good call. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think you should do that, to be real. So I mean, what does he care? He's going back in time before she's born, but, but you know. <laughs> so looking forward now. So looking forward, we have Spider-Man Far From Home. And Very oh boy, excited. do we have a multiverse, and I'm so excited about it. No, so why are you, what are you talking about, the multiverse? So in, in Spider-Man Far From Home. Because Mysterio is from Earth 833. Yeah, he says, I'm from Earth, just not this one. And, oh, yeah. um, he's from a different earth. I, I haven't seen so, the trailer. So, and he seems like You should watch the second trailer. It's, it's great. It's pretty great, and it. It shows a bit more. I, I think Agents of Shield are also about to delve into some multiverse stuff. Uh, my, that just came back, and I'm 
uh, I haven't really watched Asian Shield in like three years, so I need to catch up. But like my, like I said, when St- when Thanos snapped the stones out of existence, that fucked with time and space a little bit. So now we have multiverses and portals opening up between we them. Have so alternate timelines. So maybe so actually yeah. no, they fixed that. No, all well, that. Yeah. They they can't. They didn't fix all of them because they didn't fix the timeline where Loki, Loki got away. Loki okay, got away. except for that one. He fixed the also other. in reality with Thanos being killed when he went to the future. Past Gamora is going to have a completely different timeline. Yeah. Yeah. That timeline is... Yeah, that's another branching one. It has to be. Uh, the the big thing, since we're kind of at the end of sure. the, the film and everything, uh, that uh, I, I've talked to a couple people about that kind of like intrigues me and also kind of irritates me at the same time is they've now introduced the fact that everybody who was snapped... Is five years behind about, everybody uh, else who you're talking was about um, Spider Man's class graduating. Yeah, like I mean, that's just one of the examples. Like also, you know, the end of Doctor Strange, uh, the the Mordo. sorcerer apprentice guy, yeah, uh, is out to kill all the sorcerers. As, he's he, had five years to work on that if he didn't uh, as, get snapped. Yeah, and now the whole universe is actually five years ahead of real time. Yeah. So, so that's gonna like so weird. that's going to cause a lot of weird so, things. I hope they they remember that and I'm sure they will address it in some but way. The my thing about Peter Parker's class graduating, I choose to think all of them got snapped. So it doesn't, yeah, really, at least, at least it doesn't really matter. MJ, they had to have been snapped. So. Yeah, was, uh, at least at least Ned, MJ, and Flash. Yeah, because um, because uh, in Far From Home, he's like with his whole class. Yeah. They had to have been snapped. No, I I everyone's like, well, some of them graduated. I was like, or all of them got snapped. Yeah, I mean it's entirely possible. I mean half of the uh, the existence, you know, just bundled in. However, yeah. it needs to be to be half. Yeah. It's very possible that the entire school yeah. could could have been snapped at the same so, time. So now with the introduction the introduction of the multiverse, Deadpool can come in. Yeah, Deadpool could have come in at any point. The, the I X Men can come in. Want, Fantastic Four can come in. Silver Surfer can come in. All these dudes can come in. I want Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider would be dope. And oh, there dope. is room for them to do it because Ghost Rider and Doctor Strange have had... Uh, they, as long as it's dude, not bro, Nicolas like, Cage. Have I, have I told the, you... The, uh, the problem with that is Ghost Rider already exists did, in that universe. Yeah, and I was going to well, say... Well, good. Make him that, part uh, of the, the movie universe, that, too. That, as long as it's want, not Nicolas Cage. Are you wanting the... Like, was it Johnny Blaze? I, I don't care no, which Ghost Rider. The, the like new, the motorcycle guy the or the one in the universe. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That... that. I think it's that Ghost Rider, but Ghost Rider and somebody else are getting Hulu shows. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. So, that's... I uh, love Ghost Rider. Yeah, Ghost Rider's dope. Um, trying to think... Is he as dope as Lizzie McGuire? I don't... Why, why do you ask stupid questions on the show? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Lizzie McGuire caused an entire divorce. Yeah, it did. Um, All right, less dope. <laughs> so, uh, also in the future of the MCU, Shang-Chi's getting a film. Um, I don't know anything about him. He's a he's like a he's a martial artist. He's a martial arts guy. Oh, um, Iron Fist too. Okay, uh, better than Iron Fist. Hopefully, uh, Eternals is coming out. Black Which Widow. I looked her up some film. information about Eternals because I didn't know anything mm-hmm. about them. They're broke as shit. Yeah, I don't know how they're gonna possibly like realistically introduce that into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Well, with with like the, the escalating with the escalating power of our heroes. Our villains have to get more powerful, which is exciting. Yeah. Because, uh, but I'm also kind of confused because uh, the Eternals, like from what I read, Doctor didn't, Doom didn't seem to be Fuck. bad guys. I'm so excited. Doom could Doom could show up. Fucking Doom could show Doctor up. Doom. Doctor Doom is ridiculously powerful. See, I like maybe the Dor- idea. Maybe, maybe because the Infinity Stones don't exist anymore, Dormammu, Dormammu comes <laughs> back. Yeah. I like the idea of uh, Doctor Doom big. being introduced. He gets smaller, he's, but I he's hate the himself. fact that it has to be introduced with the Fantastic Four. No, just, Four. just, just forget no. the Fantastic Four. I already told just you. Just bring in good. Doom and Surfer, bring in the good aspects of the Fantastic Four universe, and leave the four. I told you. I told you how you do it. You you do another time jump. You have uh, some X Men being a part of the Avengers. You have. Wolverine, if you, if bring you, Hugh Jackman back. If Can you, we don't? If you, I'm if you, so uh, over Wolverine. Um, no. See, for for that, I feel like it's the same with the whole Robbie da- Robert Downey Jr. situation. Like Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. No, because he's not like five four. No, he's right. Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. If we're gonna bring in some X Men specifically, just 
Colossus needs to be there. Colossus, Storm, Cyclops, Cyclops Nightcrawler, Jean Grey, Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler, Wolverine, Beast, maybe. You cannot bring in the X Men and not bring in Wolverine. You, can. you cannot do it. Just tell when Hugh Jackman to stay. X Men thing that didn't have Wolverine. X Men First Class, never. That's when X Men. Well, to be class. fair, that's the, not real. The X Men <laughs> were like established and organized and doing things before. Apocalypse. And Wolverine Michael Fassbender. They never tell a story without it. X-Men Michael Apocalypse Fassbender can also. come back as Magneto too. <gasps> Ooh, Apocalypse can come back. <sighs> That's exciting. Um, anyway. But Juggernaut can't come back because he got butt electrocuted. No, he survived that. He survived it. He, he was crawling he was out, crawling of, the out of the pool at the end. end. Yeah. That is a powerful butt on that man. He's I mean, a powerful, he's a powerful man. man. Yeah. Um, anyway, leave your comments. Let us know who you want to see in the MCU. Not next. Wolverine. Tell us what you Wolverine. thought. If of you want X Men, you want Wolverine. You d- no. They, that they are a package. Like, deal. comment, and subscribe if you want oh, Jubilee in the I'll MCU. trade you Cyclops for Wolverine. Dude, you know what could happen if they do bring in X Men? They could do the storyline where um, Black Panther and Storm get married and have a baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine the baby of Black Panther and Storm? Black Storm. Storm Panther. Imagine Storm's <laughs> powers and then he drinks the purple. Well, there are, well, there isn't any more purple. They burned all of it. Well, maybe they can snap back the purple. <laughs> maybe maybe he can pass it on genetically. Which I am interested. You can to pass see on how lots of stuff yeah. genetically through your wiener. Because Black Panther, yeah, maybe he can pass the Black, purple. They haven't been officially but announced yet, works. but Black Panther two and Doctor Strange two are happening. So yeah. I'm Doctor pretty, Strange 2 has been filming for a while already. Has it been? Yeah. It was like before be Endgame. Who's going to be the villain in Doctor Strange 2? Mordo, probably. Probably yeah, Mordo. Uh, final season of Jessica Jones comes out, I think, I saw next that. month. I saw that. I actually need to. Like, I didn't know we were getting a third season. Yeah, I need to actually finish those other this shows. Like, because I not I started, that it matters. They didn't get yeah. called for the battle. Can we bring in the Ninja Turtles to the MCU? Uh, yes, they're hanging out with Batman. They're not a uh, Marvel uh, no, property, not. so no. you just have to sell the Ninja Turtles to Marvel. Whoever I don't, I and forget. then Peter Parker and Michelangelo could be hanging out in New York <laughs> eating pizza. Just bantering. Who does own the rights to Ninja Turtles now? Uh, I forget. I think it may be an independently owned uh, publisher Maybe. that does that. But I, I, I actually have a... Uh, Disney just literally needs to buy it like they do a, everything else. There's a there's a uh, limited series run that I've uh, that I've ordered that hasn't come in yet that has Batman teaming up with the Ninja Turtles for a second for a third time. Didn't know he did it two two times I didn't know before that, happened that either. Yeah. So. Uh, anyway, we've been going for a little while, so thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any opinions on Endgame that differ from ours, please let us know. And be yes, I would love to see some discussion. Yeah, in the comments. I want to. I want to hear what because I, I feel like I've been in an echo chamber for a little while because everyone kind of says the same thing, and I agree with a lot of it, but I want to see what like. I mean, you you kind of have to be brain dead to have a different opinion. Right. LMAO. <laughs> Until 2009, Mirage Studios owned the rights to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, at which points the rights for the entire Teenage Mutant Ninja franchise were sold by Peter Laird to Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon owns the rights to the entire Ninja Turtle franchise. Wow. How about that? Do, do you agree with that decision? <laughs> if Disney buys Nickelodeon... Then we could have SpongeBob SquarePants in the MCU. Hey Arnold is an Invader Avengers. Zim. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the next villain that the Avengers have to take down. Imagine if they Invader could... Zim versus Rocket Raccoon. Gur piloting the Hulkbuster armor. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of lulls to random bullshit? Anyway, wait, we need to close it because anyway. it's about to cut off. Did like you... I was subscribed. Bye. Did you... Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Here's my take. Mm. SpongeBob could take, take Thanos. <laughs> <laughs>